Here is something to think about. We all know about the Wright brothers and their contribution to society back in 1903. But what's the story behind the first flight across the United States? It all started in the year 1910, when the renowned publisher William Hearst announced that he will be giving away $50,000 to whoever flies across the United States in 30 days or less. Aviators were free to choose their flight path as long as they make a stop in Chicago along the way. The next year, pilot Cal Rogers, who's already set records and won money in another aviation event, decided to take on the challenge. On September 17, 1911, Rogers started his flight from Brooklyn, New York, basing his route on the railroads that ran through the country. He had a small train follow him on the ground for basic accommodations, such as dining, sleep, and flight maintenance, and reached Chicago on October 8th. By this time, Rogers already faced at least six accidents and many repairs to his plane, but continued on to Pasadena, California, where he would have received the prize money. Unfortunately, by the time he reached Pasadena, he not only faced several more accidents, but was also 19 days over his 30-day deadline, and long story short, he did not win the prize. However, Rogers would continue his journey to the Pacific coast, slowly making his way south towards the ocean, until he finally reached Long Beach on December 10, 1911, making him the first person to fly coast to coast.